Do you know what happened in Myanmar last Christmas? It's not just Ukraine where possible war crimes have been committed. It's also Myanmar. There's growing international outrage after photos of a massacre in Myanmar started. Myanmar's started... military has been accused of killing at least 30 people. The situation, of course, is absolutely horrifying. Say the army has killed and then burned the bodies of more than 30 people, including women and children. The United Nations has urged for a, quote, thorough and transparent investigation. A warning. It contains distressing images. On 24 December 2021, photos of vehicles damaged by fire somewhere in Myanmar surfaced on social media. In one of the photos, you can see the landscape in the background. And this allowed Myanmar witness to confirm the location. The smoke we see here seems to come from the vehicles as they were being set on fire. To cross-reference the location, we used NASA firm's fire data, and it showed that a heat signature was recorded around 1 o'clock in the afternoon. It indicated that the event took place near a village called Moso in Pruso Township in Gaya State. Months after this event, Google Earth satellite imagery was updated, and the burnt marks are clearly visible on the map. So when did this happen exactly? To answer that, Myanmar Witness has used multiple sources to verify the time of the event. Here, one of the earliest pieces of footage showed the fires raging at a large height, featuring an explosion as well. It was taken somewhere along this hill, and it pointed towards the site of the burning vehicles. But there was not enough information in this footage to verify the time of the filming until we saw this drone footage. It was uploaded by local resistant forces known as the KNDF. Here, you can use the shadow direction and the date of the footage with an open source tool called SunCalc. And the burning fires can be seen around 12 o'clock. In other footage, we can see some individuals walking towards a burned out car while other vehicles were still on fire. We've got where and when. What do you think about who? Well, we can't confirm who did it and why they did it, but there are a lot of investigations and claims from different sources. The state media accused local resistant forces for fighting in the area, leading to a fire which quickly spread to the vehicles, allegedly burning the victims afterwards. However, contrary to their statements, we can see here that these were separate fires. Even the vegetation around the car was not burned. On top of that, the individuals in this video have moved away from the fire site. And there were light infantry battalions or LIB military bases nearby. This could concur with the claims made during the NUG and KSCC press conference, in which they claimed that the LIB-531 was involved in this incident. Observers are still waiting for the military to hold those responsible to account, but no action has been taken at the time of making this video. 
Myanmar witness has identified videos on what happened and who could possibly be implicated. We document those cases in our secure archiving system in the hope of justice in the future.